Hey there, folks. Here we are, back again, in a whole new world. It's not so new anymore, you know? I think you can change the name. Maybe we'll change it to Whole Old World. I don't know. Only time will tell. So, I uh, finally broke through to the back of the enchanting room here. Uh, just kind of made sense, I guess, that it was only a few blocks in. It was nice to find. And then I made it, dug this giant hole in the ground. No clue what this is for. Uh, I don't know, I'll figure something out. Get creative. I just honestly, that's part of what. There's another space in here. Part of what I do in Minecraft is I just dig dig holes and build rooms, and <laughs> no clue what I'm gonna put in there. But uh, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out over time. Don't worry about it. We'll get it covered. So yeah, we finished this last episode. Oh, I love it. I love it in the circuits. Cannot wait. I did not do anything that I said I was going to do off camera in between episodes because I uh, didn't, didn't want to. <laughs> and I kind of didn't have time. It's been busy. School uh, starts for me again on Monday, uh, which I've been, I've been in college. I'm, I'm starting it on. I'm going to gather my thoughts here. Started going to college in 2001, uh, so it's been what, 12 years since I, <laughs> since I started college, but I haven't been going uh, the whole time. Uh, it's been you know, off and on, getting GE done, that kind of thing. Now that we have our wheat farm, let's get rid of this. It's also nighttime, maybe I should sleep so I don't die. I'll be fine, right? He said as were his last words. Alright. It's good. Do I really do I really care about about this? Do I wanna I mean it's just gonna stay if we do this? Is this gonna work? Yes, that works. Alright, let's do this real quick. I don't know. I, I I know I don't need to. Uh I just really want to for some reason. Uh feel I'll have an issue if I don't do this. Is that OCD? I think that's technically OCD. I really don't have OCD. Okay, I have I have closet OCD. No joke. I, oh, <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Juke you, huh? Yeah. Down here, huh? Okay. I can't get out that way. Let's get out this way. And dig our way free. So uh, you may notice that my levels are lower. I did not die. I simply enchanted tools and armor, uh, just basic low-level stuff, because I don't have nearly enough books yet. Okay, turn to grass, you. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we'll, we'll get high-level enchants and diamond tools and all that eventually. Eventually. I gotta do a whole lot more mining first, though. How quiet is this? 10%? That's a little bit quiet. Let's kick it up a touch. Let's kick it up a little bit. Oh, zombie! Where'd you... You must have... Sp Did you spawn in a tree? Did you spawn in a tree? You a tree spawning zombie. Whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. Adds a level of, of danger. Excitement. Alright, so today, my plan was... Oh, he broke the door down. He just found a door and had to break it? I mean, if I leave a door... That, that's an interesting test. That would be a very interesting test. Because this, is this really residence? Not really. But, uh, so if I left a door not attached to anything. Hey, Skelly. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna shoot me, aren't you? Ah, oh, you missed. You're gonna miss again? Oh, you hit me. But I'm wearing projectile protection. Where are you at? Projectile protection boots. Suck it, Skelly. <laughs> what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, let's leave a door just like somewhere random and watch if a zombie destroys it. If they're drawn to doors, must eat door. Arr. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. While I am sleeping, I will look at my notes and figure out what we're doing today. Today, we are going to look for a place and to begin to build. I probably need some items before I head out. Uh, we are going to build a sheep farm, a wool, wool farm. From the wool. I'm gonna build it out of cobble because I have a lot of it right now, as you can see. 
and I'm going to put that back. Most of my other stuff, I might need torches, so we'll keep that. Do a little quick inventory cleaning. I'll keep the dirt, I guess. Keep the tools, keep the meat. Get rid of the stairs. Get out of here. Pick up the iron. Get rid of the gravel. Down here. Anything else needs to go. Everything else looks like it's good to stay. I'm going to need a lot more cobble than this. Let's fill her up, friends. Fill her up, folks. Folks, folks. You know, I don't know why I say folks at the beginning of every episode. I honestly find the term annoying, but it kind of became a catchphrase a little bit, so I'm just going to stick with it, run with it, go with it. Oh. Here. Here shall be. Here shall be. Maybe. I, oh, I kind of don't want to spoil it, though. Spoil the open land. But it's so... It's so open, it cries out, it calls out for something to be built right in this area, right, in fact, at this exact spot right here. That's where we're going to begin it. Let's, I don't feel like counting, so let's get some water flow going. How far do you go? Here. And, oh, I need fence. I'm going to go grab some fence. So this wool farm, I made... If I make it in the, and that server that I gave the tour of, I believe I showed it in a, in a previous episode. Uh, four or five or somewhere in there. How much? Yes! Lots! Perfect. More than enough. Uh, yeah, I built it on the server. I just... I, I okay. thought I placed a block, but I didn't, so I'm good. So I built it on the server, and I came up with the idea... I don't know how. Just kind of popped into my head. I have to switch you out manually. Is that where I want it, or do I want it here? I think I want it here. Yes. All right. Uh, so basically, I don't know. I just I was like, hey, why don't I try this? And then I just flipped around with it for a few hours, and it ended up being, huh? Okay. Ended up working out really well. That was here, right? Let's put a torch here. So that runs to the end. So we need to put this here. I think I want to use a different block for this, actually. Let's use dirt for this. For now. For now. Do this up. I just finished uh, recording an episode of the Who Protects the Protectors building series, so I'm a little used to creative at the moment, but don't worry, I will snap out of it in no time. Alright, we need to block up the back here. Eight? No, it was seven. This is eight. There we go. No! <laughs> That's not, not at all what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Alright. How to wide? How to wide? How to wide to make this? And we have this to consider. This hole. I'm going to plug up that hole. That's what he said? <laughs> terrible. 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 Okay. <laughs> Let's put an extra block over that just for, for, for fun. Oh! The inventory space. Thank you! Let's throw you down there. So we will only make it as wide as we can really afford to make it, which is about there, which is, in fact, exactly lined up with here. Everything lined up perfectly. It must be meant to be. All right, so put this, this size. So the only thing... Hi, piggy. I want some pork. Come here. Come here. Come here! Go! The only thing to consider is... Oops, there. Oh, I'll, I'll keep it. Um, far. See, now at this point, this is just getting in the way, and I know I don't have anything on the other side, so I really just want to cut down these trees and then replant them around. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's going to be awesome and lovely for everyone, and then I can build out this uh, sad, sad state of. Uh, do I have a chest? I don't have a chest. Can I, I'm going to build one. Build a chest. Throw this away. Throw this away. Put this down and pick this up. Not that. Pick that up. We'll build ourselves a chest so we can put stuff in here. It's gonna be glorious. 
and victorious and other yes. Probably can go in there. I don't need all of you. I just need some of you. And there we go. So uh, I gotta reconsider things. Alright. So this part is gonna be so the water is here. It's gonna go up one. So the water's gonna be here. It's gonna flow here, all the way to here. And then we need it to drop. So this all needs to be dirt. So I'm gonna have to fill this in. Uh, don't worry, I won't do it all right this moment. This I think can actually stay clear. I need to put pistons back there anyway. So the idea behind this is, yeah, it's got to be big too. So I'm going to take this down. The basic idea is you have sheep in this pen and you have water at the back that pushes the sheep forward and then you have a, a, a half slab bridge that kind of cuts, I'll, I'll, I'll have to show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah, I can't, uh, can't exactly chop some cobblestone. Okay, so it comes up to here. So yes, we do want that there. There. And build this here. Okay, so the basic idea, my bucket go. And swap you out again. So the basic idea is you got the sheep here, up here, and then there's, uh, it, it goes lower here. Oh, the question is, is the water going to flow properly over here? Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> oh, the water would technically be there, so let's put this here, take this out, put that there, that there. Ready, go! Does it go down? It does not go down. Okay, so we need to take this front row off. So then it flows down, and then it pushes the sheep all the way. I knew it. I knew it was one too far. I knew in my heart that it was true. That I built it out too far. But that's okay. Easy to fix. Easy to fix. I'm just gonna keep my, telling myself. Easy to fix. Get hungry, so now we gotta swap this out. And man, what a flurry this Minecraft is. Flurry, I tell ya. That's enough silly commentary. Let's get down to the real serious stuff. So I've had a interesting experience. I need more dirt. So my experience was pick up the wood that I've shared before um, on top of mashed potato mountain. Mashed potato mountain when we were clearing the top, that I was, I've been going through some rough times in life. Uh, life has not been easy. What am I getting? 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 Dirt! Sorry about the delay there. My brain just doesn't catch up sometimes. And these rough times that I've been going through, have I have been going through them for two months, since January. And basically, I had the health issues, which I've shared, um, high blood pressure and heart palpitations, which and, and which caused an episode, which resulted in uh, kind of an anxiety type situation, uh, where I, it's really difficult to sleep and eat sometimes. Oh, dryer's done. My, I bet my wife is going to come and say, "Hey." Hey, baby, can, can you come for the clothes? No, she won't say that. She knows I'm recording. She's nice. She'll probably won't do it anyway. I'm okay with that. She does lots of things for me. She cooks a lot of the meals. I don't really like to cook, though, so it works out. Getting back on topic, life has been rough, but, um, but, um, ha <laughs> We watched that episode in, in How I Met Your Mother the other night. Uh, if you haven't seen it, hilarious. Sunset? Sunset. Let's run back. Sprinting! Down and in. 
So, I've had the amazing blessing of having, oh, that is up here, of having awesome friends who have really supported me. I have a friend who has been through, squeaky chair, uh, has been through some anxiety stuff herself for a long time for much more catastrophic reasons that I am not uh, allowed to share. But it's been really great talking to her and uh, just connecting on uh, just kind of what it's like to experience it, uh, panic attack, and kind of the emotions that go with it. It's been really good. So uh, oh, I knew I would need a lot. I didn't. I think I got way too much though. Okay, so this is too high here, which is great. This is three high, which is also great. <sighs> oh, I just had an idea. Nope, that idea will not work. Okay, so one of the secrets to the sheep farm. I'm gonna interrupt the important talk with some silly Minecraft talk. This is the important part. If you don't have this, the sheep are gonna glitch out uh, and run away constantly, constantly. So this is the key. This is the secret. Uh, other secret, I need slabs. Do I want cobble? Or do I want wood? Let's do cobble. Where's my workbench? Do I have my workbench? I have my workbench. Boy, I don't know what it is about this episode, but it is making me talk fast, think fast, and blabber on. I don't like it. So it's time to calm down. Right, right, like we talked about. I mean, we don't have a sunset or a sunrise, but here we are. Got mountains in the background. Some, some I got a yurt over there. Now that's cool. That's something to be joyful about. And I'm uh, building a sheep farm, even though I don't have any sheep. So I'm going to take a breath. <sighs> okay. That's better. So here is where the thing goes. This is a little little thing. It's at this is it oh, I forget what height it is. I'll have to get some sheep in here to check. We'll do it later. I'll build this first though at this height and then if it's too low then we'll come back. So uh, I was going through that hard stuff. This is this this is too is this too close? I think it is. I think we need to go back one more. Sorry, guys. Error on my part. And I'm going to build it up because I think it doesn't really matter if you build it up or down. Look at that. I'm not falling through anymore. Of course, it's also constantly trying to place a block. Oh, no, that can't be right because I didn't do that before. It must be down at this level. <laughs> All right, we'll build you out. <clears throat> Got you down first. Out of the way from this side. Whew. I had this awesome opportunity. This is the story that I'm getting at. I had this awesome opportunity to talk with this really awesome spiritual man, godly man, uh, who wrote this devotional series called The Odyssey. Not The Odyssey, but The Odyssey, like theology, but an odyssey in theology? Kind of. Oh, why did I do that? That's okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right, now is this? This isn't too low, because I'm good here. This should be the right height. So let me explain this now that this is done. So the sheep are here. Lots of grass to feed on. A fence gate goes here. And water goes back here. Oh, I guess I wouldn't put the water. We, uh, water, water goes in this area, in this general direction. It would have to go here to flush down, right? So I want the water here, which means I need pistons here. If I put the water here, then I have to take the first block off and move that first block back. So I want the water here, because it's less work, which means I need to put pistons here. Okay, now that I figured that out. I think we can do this, because this is where the water is going to go. You done? You good. Sanka, you dead man! 
Oh no, ah, how did I, how did I mess that up? Excuse me, let me refresh and get it correctly. Sonka, you're dead? Yeah, man. <laughs> remember? Remember Cool Runnings? Cool Runnings! Anyway, back to the seriousness. <laughs> it's a rough episode, guys. It's a bit rough. Let's gate. So, uh, I had an awesome talk to this guy named Dave. He's one of those people who can talk to you for five minutes and it's as if he's known you your whole life. He just has an amazing, amazing insight uh, into people. That's not what I wanted. Where'd you go? Here you are. <laughs> All right, rough episode, rough episode. We just gotta accept it and move forward. That is exactly what I want there. Okay, so this should be the exact height. Water goes there, sheep flow here. And then you, you come up here with your shears and you shear all your sheep on both sides. Should have about 30 to 50 sheep. It'll hold a lot. Uh, this fence keeps them from jumping out. This is at just the right height so that the sheep go under and they pile up here. And then whatever wool you shear automatically gets pushed to the fences, which you can just walk in front of to pick it up. Genius? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Time will tell. Time will tell. But I haven't seen it anywhere else. It's pretty simple though. I, I don't I can't imagine anyone not understanding or figuring out how to make this. So let's get some pistons. How many pistons do we need? Let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pistons, please. Thank you, sir. Oh, I filled it up. I don't think you guys need to watch me make pistons, so I'm going to go do that, grab some redstone, swap out inventories, and I will be right back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> don't let me go. Let me go through. Thank you. Okay, we'll be right back. Uh, and we're back. So, good news, bad news. Well, really just bad news. Is there a hanger spider in here? No, okay. Bad news. Oh, hey, Wolfie. Bad news is I need sticky pistons and I don't have any slime balls. I have one sticky piston. So uh, we're just going to get some sheep for now, which I feel like I saw some over here. Maybe over here. So we'll, we'll find them and we'll chat along the way. It'll be a little chatty episode. Chit chit chatty. So, uh, yeah, Dave is one of those guys, like I said, who can know you. Oh, perfect! Hey, sheepies! He can know you after five minutes. He's just getting. Oh, there's a swamp. Is it? Did I see swamp? No, it's not that swamp. I swear I saw swamp. Guess not. All right, come on, sheeps. Because you can get uh, slime balls, slime spawn in swamps now, so. Whoa. <laughs> hey, bud. Come on. You can do it, guys. It's a long trip. We can make it together. That's my, that's my time. Is it end of the day already? Alright, this is going to be challenging. Let's go, guys. Fast as we can. Double time. Quick step. Make it happen. This is going to get scary and treacherous. Ah, I lost them. Come on. Come on. Uh. Hello? Thank you. Yep, yeah, I'm going to get shot. Good thing I got my... Oh, and now I, I don't care about you. I just need two. Only two. Only two. Like I... I always uh, remember Bill Cosby's Noah sketch. You know, Noah's there on the ark. He's got all the animals. He's got the rabbits. He keeps having to tell the rabbits, only two, only two. You know, because rabbits breed like rabbits. Uh huh. Anyway. Old joke and not so funny. <laughs> Let's keep coming. We're almost there, guys. So Dave had this amazing insight. He he's one also one of those people who 
gets you as, asks you questions so that you can figure out what's going on with you. Let's avoid that whole channel. And basically, he he really uh, went straight to the heart. Oh, crap. Okay, let's go. He called me out basically and said, "Hey, you wanna?" You say that you want to change. You want to be more of a people person. You want to. Um, you're gonna come up. I think we'll just dig a giant hole for you guys. Come on. This is the way. No. All right. How about now? Yeah. There you go. Hey. Make some sheep babies. For you. None for you. What's up to real quick? Alright, we have got our sheep farm started. Let's get this so we can't jump out. And we can't get out there. And we are secure. I'm so excited. Quest complete. -da -da -da. Alright, I'm gonna chop some trees down. So he, he came into the quick. He said, "What's your motivation for wanting to change? Why do you really actually want to be different? Why do you want to be more sociable, more likable, kind to of other people, that kind of thing?" And it's like in my head, I'm like, "Come on, that, that, that's like what you should do." Uh, and at the same time, it's like that's not a lot of my natural personality. I joke with my wife, we as we've grown. Uh, understand each other. What? Zombie? 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 Nope. Must have been hearing things. As we've grown to understand each other, uh, we started joking one time that I had adult onset Asperger's. Because <laughs> it seems like I really, like, I'm not, di I'm not diagnosed by any means, and I mean, no offense, but I really do have trouble picking up on social cues. It's it's a, a nerd thing, I guess. I, I was uh, not a very social person, person for a very long time, and it ended up, uh, what do you call it, atrophying, atro atrophying, atrophying uh, my social skills and my ability to read people and understand their emotions uh, based on facial expressions, all the classic signs, and then I'm a generally intelligent human being. And I usually let that intelligence dominate who I am and consider myself an intellectual type of guy. And he, as I'm going through all this, like I said, basically the same kind of stuff to him. And he's like, so what makes you think that you're really a head person and not a heart person? Because um, I also shared with him a lot of the pain that I've been through in the past, the emotional pain that kind of set me on that path to uninvolvement uh, with people in general and I was like uh, he's like you seem to me like you were more of a heart person than a head person and I was like holy crap that's insane because for for decades as soon as he said it I realized that for decades I have been oh hey <laughs> let's kill you <laughs> uh, for decades I have been living decades Wait, what am I? Yes, I'm 30, BT done. Uh, almost a decade, I have been living in an intellectual's life, claiming to be an intellectual type person, a, a head person, a brain person, a smart person, never really a heart person. Uh, but he said, you know what, what just, it just shows that because you were so hurt by these events that are in your past, that you probably really are more of a heart person than a head person. And it, it was like it was like opening opening the floodgates uh, and cry. <laughs> but I almost wanted to at the time. It was so moving. Uh, it, but it's true. It, I'm more of a heart person than a head person. And I, and I want to challenge anyone who's listening who watches this sometime in the future uh, that it, if you think you're a head person that and you're just disconnected with other people, you gotta realize that everyone on some level is a heart person, even if you don't think you are. 
even if you have trouble and struggle with it and struggle with just being around people, um, that's that's normal. And you can be a, a hard person. It's something that you can choose. You can choose to, instead of being like, oh, I'm intellectual, so I'm not going to try to engage. Uh, you can choose to be like, hey, this is a real person that I'm talking to, and I I can choose to open up and care about them. Let's light this up, because it's going to be ours. Whoa! Attack much? Oh, 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 I got hit. Oh, the creeper, you scare me. Oh! Okay, okay. Oh, yes! Whew. Got my heart going there. Um, yeah. So it's a choice. It, I finally discovered it was a choice. I, I had the choice of what my personality was going to be, of what I was going to live like, about how I was going to affect other people on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'll tell you what, since that day, almost instantly, uh, most of my panic has gone away, because it revealed true motivation. Uh, I wasn't... Um, trying to please other people anymore. I wasn't trying to make other people happy, give them what they want, um, because I, I don't know, it's like, a, let's go sleep. It was a change in priorities for me, uh, between choosing to please others because I wanted to feel better about myself, and then changing that to choosing to think about others because I cared for them and valued them as, as human beings. I mean, talk about life-changing, man. That's that's just crazy. That is absolutely insane. If you would have come to me a year ago and told me that, I would not have understood what was going on. Sixteen, here we go. <clears throat> it, it, um, it's changed my life already in the last... I think it's been about three weeks. So, you know, just to just to wanted to share, just wanted to encourage you guys out there who maybe are the sheep still in here. Oh no! Oh, they're, <laughs> they're in the hole, aren't they? Hey guys! All right, let's light this up a little bit. The only see here's another comment. So the only other problem, the only problem that I found with this design is that. Lighting the center can be difficult because you're constantly flooding it with water. You can't exactly have lighting, so I've put a roof on it in the past, which is probably a good idea. I'll probably do it again, probably a wood one. Probably. Probably. Only time will tell. Is that, oh, that's a pig. What? Is he glitching out? You over here, piggy? He, wow, I don't... <gasps> Oh! Whoa! No! How did you die? Oh, no, let's breed you too quick. What's going on? I don't want to have to go and get that green one. I don't know what kind of color I'm going to get. You don't want to really mix the colors if you're not. Ready. <laughs> no, I'm not racist. It's just funny to say that. Oh, we get XP. Are oh, you guys going to come out? Yeah, let's let him come out. Come on. Here you guys go. You can come out. No? Okay. Oh, where was it? Oh, did I? Okay, it's all closed off. Why are they glitching through so bad? Whatever. Can't do anything about it. Just keep reading. Keep on reading. Keep on reading. I gotta not walk on there. I'm not skilled. Not skilled enough yet. Alright, where was I? Am I talking to... Oh, gosh. Wow, sorry. <laughs> talking and sharing and sharing and talking. Sharing stone and talking. Stone sharing and talking? I don't know what I'm talking about. So yep, here's Wheat Farm. I'm gonna find a swamp off camera and get sticky pistons and may I'll probably set it up before I have you guys rejoin me, because that last redstone whoa, 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 vomited in my mouth so many times when I was actually building it because I was so terrible. I'm terrible at redstone, I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm not afraid. So, yeah, here's the big share, here's the big, what's going on, Ben is more of a hard person than a head person, 
And I think I think it once I realized that. Whoa, excuse me. Bad burst. I don't know why. Um, once I realized that, it has given me more security, which has given me more ability to connect with people. And I feel more confidence. And uh, it's just worth it. So if, if you're struggling, if you yourself are struggling, let's break it down now. <laughs> I'm just joking around. Really, though, it's worth it to try. Because people value it, and it's not about how effective you are, and it's not about whether or not they like you. It's about oh, oh it's from the real. Uh, it's just a, it's about the other people. It's not about you. And it, I'm still learning that, still working on it. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for me. My wife can vouch. <laughs> as long as we've been together, it's always been a struggle um, for my pride and my just selfishness. Uh, and that's just human, and we, we both know that. Uh, so we have grace with each other, but it, it can change. And I think that's the whole point of what I'm saying. Is you don't have to stay as who you are, or who you think you are. You can choose to get rid of the false motivations and really understand uh, what you want to do in life, and who you want to be, and you can choose to be that. And you can't let society, and by society I mean the people around you, um, not just some abstract concept, but people in your life, your family, your co-workers, uh, your school friends, it doesn't really matter what they think you are, because you can choose to be whoever you want to be. I mean, granted, I still tell bad jokes, because uh, I'm my father's son. <laughs> like this one, oh gosh, there's this joke that I read. Well, why can't you hear a pterodactyl going to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. Get it? Pterodactyl, the P is silent. Can't hear. Okay. See? Yep, exactly. My father's son. Alright. We got our sheep farm built. And I'm going to check the time. Because I have no idea how long I've been yammering. I'll be right back. Alright, so we're about out of time. I wanted to come in and check if this was done yet. It's done enough. How's this gonna work? You're good, man. You know work. Looks pretty good. And it kind of doesn't matter that this stuff uh, hangs up over there, because we gotta walk that way to... Uh, what, what do you call it? Replant, anyway. Good, I got the seeds right where I wanted them, and oh, easy replanting. Nice. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Success. I would call this a success. 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 We can't go further. Uh, the redstone there was was just terrible. I don't know why I just didn't put a, a lever in in the first place. So uh, we got to figure out what we're doing there. You gotta spruce this place up because it's it's pretty shabby. I was thinking of putting a ceiling in here, a nighttime themed ceiling, for fun. You know why not? I blocked this off. I forget if I showed it. It's just a what do you call it? A uh, <laughs> a coward coward bar, I guess. Got it. Are you up here? I get you. Yes. Apples. Eat some apples. Pickles! Anyone remember that? And the pickles! Yeah, I kinda kinda hated that. I had a friend who quoted it way, way too much. It made me so sad to be able to watch that, or not not to be able to, but to watch that later on and just not like it. It was such a sad time. Anyway. Time's passed, and uh can choose not to not to live like that anymore. Can I read you? One and two. I feel so much more secure having four sheep now. Good job, guys. Good job, me. Here we go. All right. So I gotta plant some trees in the meantime. Not in the meantime. I'll do it off camera because uh, it's just planting trees. And I think I'll. Bring it down from this point. Do I have a tree on me? I have 20 trees on me. Let's get it started. 
just so that I know and you can confirm that this is where the tree line is. I swear I heard a zombie. No. Okay. Must be my imagination. Let's bring that one here. Step it down gradual like. Should get some good big trees off of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be real. I said I would do this off camera, but I'm doing it on camera, but it's only 20. So there we go. Those are going to grow as they do. Maybe we'll have an awesome opportunity to put another platform over here. Probably build some more of these tree bush things. Probably one right about here. And yeah, but we'll do all that in the next episode. All right, guys. Thanks for being a listening ear. And um, yeah, I hope you... Oh, he's not well. Whatever. We'll get him next time. Hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.